Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another great fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build this amazing under the sea house where we're going to work on one super awesome bedroom on our second story. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back. And it looks like our guardian friends are behaving with the squids. So that's nice. There's a little bit of uh, peace under the sea right now. All right. So in our previous two episodes, we've been working hard on our bedroom and bathroom on this level. So over here, we built this pretty cool bedroom down here with the cool scuba suit and uh, couch and blinds and all sorts of cool stuff there. And then here was our bathroom with our cool little toilet and sinks and a uh, little shower here with a little... I like this little nook thing we put there at the end of the last episode. I think that came out nice. And I like the little window we decided on the back. I think that's pretty cool, too. So let's move on to our upper level where we need to start adding some rooms up here. So I thought we'd start right here in this room and start a little bedroom. So once again, we've got a few challenges that we'll work through. So um, this room is a little bit awkward how it has the door right here. And this area is kind of tight, but... We'll, uh, we'll work on it. We'll, we got this. We've got this. So um, let's add some detail on the sides here. So let's get that kind of arranged. There we go. Bring that up there. And we're just working on the skeleton. So just kind of refining, chopping, sawing, chiseling away at our, uh, at our structure here. So let's bring down some of these pillars here. There we go. Looking good. So, uh, we're looking good so far. There we go. And I'm um, thinking about when I was looking at this room. So I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, hey, what if we do this? What if this extra ceiling we could use to our advantage? And why that is, is we have this extra ceiling and we don't want it to look blank or bland. Let's try to harness it and use it into our design. So we're gonna try that now. So what my idea is to have this kind of shelving unit above the room. So up here we could have, you know, some knickknacks or something along those lines that maybe the uh, person who lived here, you know, puts their little treasures up on here and just, you know, it's kind of a cool little spot. They put some paintings, they put some different things like that up there. And I think that might be a cool little addition to the room. So what I'm thinking here is to do a desk across here. So I think a desk would look nice. Maybe um, just some furniture type item across here with some windows. And then we'll have the bed across here. Now this will be a little tight. So when we walk through here, the bed will be here and it'll be a little tight, but I think it'll still be pretty cool. All right, so let's get started with the bed. And the bed's always a tricky one, always a tricky one. So let's go bam, bam. And actually let's back that off. Let's back that off. No, 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 no. I've got another idea, got another idea, and it's better. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go like that, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna go like that, like that, and then right here, here, and then come up like so. As you can see, that's starting to look kinda cool. That's starting to look kinda cool. Now we're gonna get out our snow. We're gonna bring that up to about here. And then one, two, three. Yeah, three is always a good one. Perfect, perfect. Whoops. Nice, nice, there we go. Got a nice little bed so far built up here. Now, in this section back here, we could always take out a color from our wonderful inventory of colors, and we could decide maybe maybe just a simple gray back here would look nice. Yeah, that looks really cool, that looks really nice. Um, now we can go and take out our gray. Let's do a gray this time. And we could do what we did down below to kind of frame up the bed a little bit more, like so just a little carpet below the bed. That looks really nice. Really simple, really clean lines, and um, just all nice and symmetrical <laughs> looking really nice. Okay, I think that looks good. So let's see about our windows. So let's sample some window. And what about we do, we could do like a nice big window across here, or, hmm, what if we do this? What if we do this? This will look kind of cool. We'll do a small one here, another one there. And then we could do some furniture piece like in the center. No, no, how about we do, no, I'm just coming up with different ideas. See what, see what kind of works. How about that? How about that? Nice three window across there. I like that. And that looks pretty cool. All right, so let's work on some furniture. Let's, how about that? Work on some, just some, just a standard kind of end table here will look nice. Invisible block, there you go. 
Everybody remembers the visible block, I guess, from our live streams. <laughs> uh, every time we're doing a live stream on Twitch, the um, we're always having that problem with the invisible block. And then I'm like, ah, hashtag invisible block. Oh, you're the bane of my life. <laughs> uh, let's take a break and have ourselves a little potion. There we go. All right. I like this so far. I think everything's starting to kind of come together nicely. We could do maybe some orchids. We have not done an orchid in this house, being my favorite flower. We must do this. There we go. We're going to put an orchid right there. I need to look pretty nice. Yeah, that looks cool. We need to put something else up here. I'm not sure what yet, but uh, we haven't done an orchid yet, and those are my favorite flowers. All right, so give me one second here. Let me kind of catch my breath, and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. If this was a real, like, real-life house, sitting in this chair looking out those windows would be, like, the coolest thing. Like, what if you were just sitting here and you just saw, like, a whale swim by? Oh, that would be really amazing. All right, so let's get back to our work here. And I'm thinking, so I'm sitting here and kind of catching my breath a little bit. And I'm thinking, you know what? Let's do some carpet across here like we did in our previous room. So then I was thinking, which color would look good? And then I thought, hey, look at this blue flower. Well, let's do a light blue carpet across here. So we'll kind of tie in with the orchid. You like that? I think that looks kind of cool. I think that looks nice. So then I'm thinking, all right, so we tied it with that. Let's actually move that then over to our, our windows. Then I'm thinking that might be a little much. That might be just pushing it just a little too much. So I'm kind of going back and forth if I want to do curtains here, but I might do it in another color. So when you, you know, you take a color like the orchid there and you move it in and add that little extra detail there, it can come out really nice, but then you can do it a little too much like the curtains here. So we'll think about it. We'll think about um, any other design ideas we want to do with that. All right. So. Next, we want to work on our desk. So our desk is going to go along here. And um, the problem is this is a two wide desk. So if we do a chair right in the center, it's going to be off. So that'll look kind of funny. So my solution for this, I think, is to do it like it's turned out. Like, you know, you got out of, the, you got out of your chair, you pushed it to the side. I think that'll be a solution for an off-center desk. All right, so let's work on that. So we'll go like so, very cool. And then we will go like this, like that. Oh, that looks that looks nice, but I think it would look better with stairs. Yeah, there you go. And then we'll do that off-center chair kind of sticking out like that, looking super snazzy. And then let's see, what could we do for some side rails to the chair? We could take out a wooden trap door, which is a nice option, or we could move on down here and do an item frame. Let's see what an item frame looks like. For, you know our rests it looks nice it looks nice let's try out a sign let's do a sign too and see how that looks hmm so what do you guys like do you like uh, a would be the sign or B would be the sign or I mean a would be the item frame B would be the sign what do you guys like better do you like the item frame with the extra little red color or the sign just being plain. Now the item frame would tie in with the color of a pot. So, hmm, so A or B, what do you guys like best? I think I'll leave it this way for the video and then I'll kind of get your guys' thoughts after the video goes up and I read the comments. I enjoy reading the comments. I always have, I always have enjoyed, you know, hearing your guys' feedback, even, you know, sometimes there's, uh, you know, negative comments mixed in there, but I still like to go in there and read all your guys' comments, and I do try to reply to as many as possible. I know sometimes I can't always get to everybody's comment, but do keep in mind that I do really do try to make sure I, you know, respond as best I can. I know sometimes people get a little upset when, you know, they, they post a comment and I hadn't quite got to it, but believe me, I do do my best to try to get to as many comments as possible because comments are, are a big help. You know, sometimes they, like I said, they can be a little bit negative and not in a, not in a negative way like, oh, I didn't like something or, um, you know, you could do this a little bit better, but just negative for negative sake. And those kind of get you down and then you don't sometimes want to look at the comments, but I try to, you, I try to, you know, walk away for a while if I see a negative one and come back and then see, you know what, there's actually a lot of really awesome comments here and a lot of really constructive comments because some of the things that I read in the comments like, hey Scar, maybe the microphone was a little low or that's a little too high or something along those lines, those are huge help. That's a huge help 
and making content because sometimes you know you might look at something for a day or more you know just like looking at it and trying to figure something out and you might not never you might not never get like the you know the solution to your problem till somebody with fresh eyes sees it and that's sometimes the case with like the comments and um, so I really do appreciate you guys for you know leaving comments every once in a while especially the ones that are trying to help and make the content better so I do appreciate all the comments I get even the negative ones even the negative ones even the negative ones I'll, I'll even say that because at least somebody's watching the videos <laughs> All right, look at that. We got some paintings up there looking super snazzy. So let's get out our pot and we'll get out our, let's see, let's get out some seaweed and um, let's, let's let me leave one orchid in there for now. So we can, you know, come up here and we can stick a couple seaweed pots up here. Look, it's cool. Nice, nice. So I kind of want things to be kind of eclectic up here. Nothing, you know, you know, straight, straight, you know, design. I want like little random things up here. Like I want this to look like a, like a shell. Maybe we'll put a shell up there. So that's kind of sitting up there. Let's um say this green shell, this is a green shell. Let's have a little potion so we don't go invisible. All right. So then I'm going to go up here. So that's kind of like a green shell. I hope that works. Like I hope that like design wise, that looks cool. All right. Nice. I like it so far at least. And let's say we take out this one. There we go. So kind of, I don't want their faces to show through because I don't really want them to like read as an actual, um, an actual like uh, player head or or mob head or something like that. But I think that looks good. That looks nice. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on to next project here, and that will be let's put some shells right here. Let's put some shells right. Here. Always a good idea just to stick some shells along there. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so give me one second, guys. Let me kind of catch my breath and go through the room, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And there was something really strange. So I didn't know that creepers can explode without any activity from a player. Is that true? Because I'm over here building away, and um, I just hear an explosion off in the distance, and I've never heard a creeper, I don't think, just gets set off by itself. I guess maybe a mob could maybe trigger it. I don't know. But uh, let's uh, come into our room here. And I put some curtains on there. I used gray to offset it from our little window treatment above. So I think that looks nice. And uh, we have our bed set up there. I decided to put a record player there for a little bit more detail that the person living here. I feel like it possibly might be a, a teenager's room, you know, with a desk to do some work on, you know, a record player there to uh, play some music. And um, some knickknacks, you know, up on the top up there looking super snazzy. Got our bed over there. We have the organic growth coming out of the sides of our house. And I um, added some detail above so you can kind of see how it's kind of growing out of the ceiling looking really super cool. And um, yeah, so let me know, guys, what was your favorite thing in the build and what was your least favorite so I can help to try to... Uh, you know, continue to make awesome content for you guys. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I like the on and off switch. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, and then let's come on over here and let's just put a simple little Minecraft shampoo bottle right there. Looking, looking fine, looking mighty fine. All right. And let's do some towels. Let's do some towels. Let's get out some cyan, a little bit of white. And I think those are two good combos for the colors of the room.